Hey guys, how are we doing today? I have a new video for you today that's going to be a side-by-side -side comparison of the Oakley half jacket and the flak jacket. Now I kind of get this question a lot between which is better, pros, cons, so on and so forth, but this one is actually for um, one of my particular subscribers called T Page. He had some questions about the ear socks for the half jackets uh, and just the different comparisons between the two and which ones I personally recommended. Now, this first thing you see sitting right here in front of you, this really big lens weird display, this is what Oakley uh, used to use in just the regular retail stores. Just like you're trying to think of an example, maybe just like your local tennis shop or your golf shop, just so you could kind of see your different lenses, lens sizes, shapes. Because back in the day, there were not Oakley stores. There were not many of them at least. So there's not really a way for you to see the colors and online, you can never really get the Iridium gloss right. So this was a great piece of um, Oakley history, which now is kind of, uh, I, or at least I believe, has kind of been moved away because of the Oakley stores, since we have all the lenses and ha we have everything. but. Anyways, just to go on with the comparison, which one I like over um, which one. Uh, this one right here is going to be the Oakley half jacket. Now I have personal uh, personal feeling for this one, I guess you could say. This was uh, the very first pair of Oakley's that I saw when I was um, 14 that I just truly loved. I thought, man, that is an awesome pair of shades. It took me a while to actually get this one, but I was able to come across it. Um, it's not that rare of a frame, it's just... I don't know, it's just really cool. I like the look. I like how the white and the black and then the fire iridium, not the XOJ. I'm not a fan of the XOJ and the half jacket. I don't know why, I just like the standard. Now, I will say that the half jacket does not fit me nearly as well as the flat jacket. I just simply have this one because when I was younger, I just had a fascination with it. I just absolutely loved the uh, frame and lens combination. So this is one of my all-time favorites just as far as how it looks. So like I said, this is not my one of my top frames I'd recommend. This would be more for a smaller face. I sell a lot of these to women. Um, I sell a lot of these to younger kids, men that have a little bit smaller faces. There's nothing wrong with this frame at all. It just typically will fit a little bit smaller face. So this is a great frame. Like I said, I just recommend it for a little bit smaller faces. This one, uh, the flat jacket, is my personal favorite. I have a custom combo set up here just so you can kind of get an idea of just the different colors and how the colors pop differently with different ear socks. So this lens right here is actually called Positive Red, which I'm sure you know everybody's gonna know that, but I actually have purple ear socks on it. Let me switch this camera up for you so you can see a little bit better. There you go. So I have purple ear socks. It is the white Ghost Text frame, but the lenses are Positive Red. For some reason or another, the purple actually brings out more purple in the lenses. So the lenses look more purple than they do red. I'm not sure why, it's just I think with the colors being so close together, but this is one of my favorite flat jacket setup, simply because you can't go to the store and just buy the purple ear socks. I'm not sure why, but, or at least in the, my local stores, there's not, um, I don't know, a large selection of the ear sock colors. So that's another thing you kind of wanted me to talk about is where to get the different ear sock colors. Um, personally, man, the only place I can send you to is going to be oakley.com. That's the only place that's going to carry them. And the team colors, like this uh, this purple, and I think they have team light blue and dark green and Vegas gold, all those colors, I don't think they sell just individually. I'm not 100% sure on that just because I, I just don't really sell a lot of the ear sock, just the random ear sock kits in, in my store but it's always something to go in there and check and ask, and if you can't find it on the website, you can always call the 1-800 number, which is never ever gonna hurt you. So just between the two, you have, this is the standard flat or half jacket, and then you have the XLJ flat jacket. Now I know this is really weird, but like I said, I like the standard lens in the half jacket, and I like the XLJ in the flat jacket, and even weirder is that I like the half, or I like the standard lens in the fast jacket, the new fast jacket. So I really don't know why that is. I just I just like them. I like the way they fit me better. So just like here, I just go ahead and show you another little comparison, just for you to kind of take a look at. Um, I get a lot of ooh, get a lot of people that ask me um, what is the difference between um, an XLJ and a standard. So these two right here, you have fire iridium, and then you have black iridium polarized. Now you can tell really well in this picture that this is just a curved lens right here, just the straight curve. And then you have this one, the fire, that is the XLJ, and it has cuts down and then comes back up, kind of just to go over that little part in your cheek. Now this is a question that I get a lot, and I know other people on YouTube get this a lot as well. Will an XLJ lens fit in a standard frame? 
And the answer to that question is yes. All the flak jacket frames and all the half jacket frames, as well as the radars, the M frames, the fast jackets, it's all the same exact frame. The frame does not change at all. It's just the lens. Now they do fit a little differently for different purposes, which it gets kind of confusing, but all of the lenses will fit perfectly. I mean, so if you, as long as you buy a flak jacket lens, it will go in the flak jacket. If you have a half jacket lens, it will go in the half jacket, whether it's an XOJ or a standard. So that's, a, I know a questions that me and a couple of guys on YouTube get a lot. So that's just to clarify that up for you. So if you have any questions, uh, any more questions, T-Page, please feel free to ask me if this video didn't answer your questions. Maybe I can an answer in a PM or whatever. So um, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and hope you're having a good day. All right, bye.